going on my fellow reefers fragbox tv finally we are going to put some corals in our very expensive nano reef tank what are we gonna put what are we gonna put this is so much fun what are we gonna put let's do torch I like torch. Yeah, let's do torch. This is nice. Ooh. Let's do this one and a green with purple tips. Two of them? Yeah. It's so easy to do it. Okay, yeah, so we're going to go with some torch. I'm a big fan of torch gardens. I'm a big fan of gardens of corals in general. So we've gone ahead and picked these two, which are not crazy expensive, not too cheap. I don't know where you're watching this from. I know a lot of our viewers in the, uh, in the United States. So a torch like this on the right sells for about 250 Canadian dollars. And this one on the left is about 150 Canadian. So in US dollars, that's gonna run. Never mind, not fair to compare because I think prices in general outside of Canada are quite high for torch corals, tor uh, corals in general. But we're gonna go ahead and add these two. So right now they are on a plug. So I'll show you the bottom. And it can be quite tricky to go ahead and glue this. So Tia in a second, we're gonna show you how we actually cut the plug so that we have a nice flat base. Uh, makes it a lot easier to glue stuff to the rock. So we use these bone cutters here in the store. It's how we make a lot of the frags too. Please disregard the rust, but it's very easy to, yeah, just go ahead and snip what we call, this is the stem of the, of the plug. So really easy to cut. And then that way, when we go to glue, we have this nice sort of flat surface. We'll do this one too. Same idea. Muscles. Oh yeah, looks good. Today's commercial break is brought to you by Dylan's Aiken Garden. That's just looking on real so every time we get a new acans he'll go ahead and steal one or two heads of each different variety and i think i'm going to do the same thing uh in that other tank that we're about to glue stuff down but it's looking really really good in here okay so they look like they're ready to go nice flat bottoms should get easy uh be easy to glue them down now if you're going to add any new corals to your tank we always recommend dipping them our stuff's clean here so i'm not worried taking it from the frag tanks and introducing it but dipping corals it's always, always a good idea. And we have another video which shows you how to properly dip and clean them before introducing them to your tank. If you saw one of our other videos on the anemone that we added, he's kind of settled in this stupid spot over here behind the rock. So I can't really enjoy it. And it's, you know, here from the front, you, you can't even see that we have it. If, um, if he doesn't come out from there, you know, I think ultimately I'm gonna take it out, but I'll give him a little bit more time. Maybe I can get him to, um, to move from here into, you know, a more pleasant spot where we can actually enjoy him. Tia is now going to glue them down to the rock. Where are we sticking them? I'm thinking one here. No, go further back. Yep, yeah. further, further. Back yeah, here. throw them in the back. Because they're aggressive. Torch corals will sting anything else they touch. So by putting them in the back, we leave a lot of room in the front to do my Aiken garden that I want to do. So this is our trusty glue. Always put the lid on your glue. Always put the lid on the glue. Good tip of the day. That's all you need is like teardrop size amount of glue and then it cures pretty quick right when you put it in the water. Mm -hmm. you go. We usually like to twist them a little bit to get it to stick. See how it's all sticky there? And that's it. And repeat. <laughs> it's not coming out. Having some technical difficulties. Get it out. We're making this seem a lot harder than it is. Those it's very easy, very easy to glue corals to the rock. Yeah, that's nice, right there. So tons of room, well not tons, it's a 10 gallon tank. We're, we're getting pretty limited for room, but still a good amount of room here. Maybe for some sort of, I like acans, and then maybe some zoas, blastos. maybe some mushrooms. Tia likes blastos. This guy makes me very nervous back here. I'm afraid we're gonna set up a nice garden and then this son of a gun is gonna go and move and, and sting everything, but we'll give him a chance, we'll see if We'll give them one more shot. Okay, so I know it's been a long time since we've done any videos on the tank. We've been really uh, busy in the store, but finally, finally got those corals in. So they're gonna look kind of crappy for about a day and then they should open up nicely and fill in this space. Just a quick tally because the whole point of this video is the most expensive nano reef. Without the corals and livestock, we're sitting at about 1600 bucks now that we're starting to add corals in the fish probably closer to two grand we don't really have any budget for this tank we just want the nicest possible 10 gallon we can make here in the store it's like a open checkbook sort of build 
very soon we're going to hook up an apex and a trident so the price of this tank is going to skyrocket because those two components together is probably worth more than the existing tank in its entirety but that's it for today's video guys dig says it's a wrap if you guys got any questions about this tank or any other nano reef tanks reef tanks in general we absolutely love talking about this stuff this is what we do here at frag box corals it's just corals 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 with a limited number of fish but our main forte and specialty and area of expertise i would say is definitely corals that's where our passion is so please feel free to hit us up i'm going to leave our email address at the end of the video like i always do you got to do an update over here on this red sea reef for 250 but thank you very much for watching this episode